Good morning my little french fries, how are you doing wee Patty from across the shop and I'm bringing you another video and it's another video on one of my beautiful new GEC knives which I have such a privilege of owning now and uh, I enjoy sharing them with you because who else would I share them with? But what are we going to talk about today? Well it's this one here, it's the Tidiote which is the GEC um, standard version of a knife um, it's the beaver tail, which is a great name for a knife, and it's a, it's very apt, I'll tell you. It's a traditional sportsman's knives. That's what they're calling this. And there's the top of the tube, as we all know, 85 is the model number, which is the beaver tail. And it's the pattern that it's used on. They have different um, blade shapes on that, that uh, pattern throughout the years. And it's the number two stands for the blade shape. Number one is the number of knives, and then the last two, the 18, is the year it was made. And it's in jigged Brazilian cherry wood, which is stunning, I hope you'll agree. So, we'll put that out of the way, and I shall bring in this little beauty. Look at that. Now, if I can bring that up close, can you see the depth of colour in that Brazil Brazilian cherry wood? It is so beautiful gorgeous it is rich it is warm it is just stunning the jigging is one of the best i've seen from gec um because sometimes i believe case are the better jiggers but this one is just beautiful and if you see the shape of that look at that lovely look at that shield a pin shield of a beaver absolutely beautiful but it looks like a beaver's tail and that's exactly what they've uh uh, they call it a bullet end jack on a lot of the other models. But beaver tail suits me lovely, suits this knife lovely. And I think they have really, they've just made a knife special by doing a shield like that. I, I just think it is gorgeous. This is nickel silver bolsters and um, pins or pin and uh, I think the other ones are brass. And 1095, which they use in most of their, their models now. It has an easy open notch. And I love that. And I'm going to follow up. I'll show you another knife that I got with this notch, specifically based on when I ordered this one. I just needed to find more. But for use, it is absolutely lovely. You have a nail neck there, uh, which is lovely, and it's very easy to use. It's not a, an incredibly difficult pull. It's about a six. But you can just put your fingers in there and open it up lovely. It's got a half stop, if you, as you can hear. It locks open beautifully, um, and look at that. On the, there's an etch there, which if I use it, the etch will come off, but it's a beaver, and it's got the beaver tail on it. There's the Tidiot marks there, and uh, on the other side, you have the GEC, and car is for carbon, and that's a number that's on the top of your lid. Isn't that just a beautiful knife? Though so that is a knife you can use. Again, this is about six and a half inches long, a blade length of about two and a half, just over maybe two and a half inches, a full four finger grip, incredibly comfortable grip. Um, and you have a nice choil here that it's not going to close on you if you were pushing hard and you got a wrap in the back. So an absolutely stunning knife. It really is. It comes with a really good blade grind. I'll take you a walk. There's the centering. The centering is near on perfect. A wee bit to the left, but not touching the sides by any means. Um, the back is absolutely stunning on it. Let me just get you a better picture of that. That's it. There's the back. Look at that. GEC at its best. I just love the way they finish. Their hafting is just beautiful. And they do different things like this. So, And, and this is why I'm enjoying collecting the traditional knives they are a bit different you can get a basic pen knife from GEC which I've shown on the channel the number 15 basic pen knife which is a knife anybody can use you have different blade shapes for it and it's just a perfect pocket knife but this is that wee bit extra this is why I'm collecting this is why I've got so many in the last two years I think I'm up to 18 now which is disgusting the amount of money but I'm enjoying every minute of them. But it hasn't deterred me from buying cheaper knives. And, and that's what I want to say. You know, yes, 
If, if your money is tight and you can't afford something like that, look, I appreciate that. I spent most of my life like that was scraping a few quid here and there to get some nice things. But that's what I did. And I've got to the stage now where I'm very, very fortunate and I can afford to buy these. But there's options. And I think that's what I want this to be. Don't think, oh, there's Paddy showing his GECs because Paddy also loves to go on a hunt. Look at that stag bone on a knife. It's got a bale, an easy opening, which is what drew me to it because of the, the beaver tail. But look at that for a beautiful knife. Is it perfect? No, but it's pretty blooming good. Look at the back on that with your brass spacers. This is in 1095. No, I think this is stainless steel. But this knife is from about 19, uh, 1917. So it's over a 100 year old or around the 100 year old. Look how good that knife is. This cost me £30. This is going to cost you, you know, £130 plus on the secondary market, depending on where you're getting them from. But this is £30. So I can get a knife, and let me show you. This is a spear blade. It's not as fat, but it is that same sort of shape of a knife with a long pull on it. Um, you can see there's wear in the blade where somebody had had it before. That will never bother me because this is a user. It's a 100-year-old user, and it's got two blades in this. I've also got a little pen blade in here. And the snap is still in this knife. Listen. All I done was flush this through when I got it. It was a bit gritty. Listen to that snap for a hundred year old knife. There's no blade wobble, no nothing. So you, you really don't have to spend that amount of money if you don't have it. You don't have to look at that. I mean, they're both beautiful knives. Absolutely beautiful knives that will do you for any EDC, and especially when you leave half your nail and all in it. But so absolutely lovely. I give this a little sharp, but it's as good as any other knife I have for cutting. But so that's the difference. What else can I show you that is equal to as a pen knife, as a using pen knife? This is just as useful as this. This is more beautiful and refined. I accept that, and it's dear, and I bought it because of that. This I bought because it was a hundred year old sort of model that looked very similar to this. So there's no new things in knives. And I think that's what I, again, I like in pen knives. There isn't this battle of who's making that or who's, who's got that pattern or that looks too much like that. These are two, this is Camillus, a US made company. This is GEC, a US made company. The next one is a Chinese made company, Rough Rider, from a, an American uh, company who have these made for them a rough rider look at that bullet end jack whatever you want to call it it's a again look at the blade shape look at the size of it they're both about the same size this is a more comfortable handle for hard use not that you hard use uh, you know a pen knife that much but this is a bigger stockier handle it's beautiful absolutely beautiful it's more of a drop point spear but Look at that handle. Look at the detailed work. Red liners on a, on a knife that costs fifteen dollars. Look at the look at that for the back spring. Is that not just beautiful? And this will cost you fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Again, another knife with a blade exactly the same sort of size as this. Uh, a handle the same shape. It doesn't have the the cutout, but I can easily dremel that, and I might do that actually just as a as a wee. Because I'm not worried if I, if I don't do it perfectly, but it would it would match this if I needed to. Because I've got to, I probably won't. But this is an absolute cracking knife, and it works every bit as good as this. In fact, that's in my pocket today, Kai. And, and by the way, I sharpened this last night on the new um, Work Sharp um, sharpener that I showed in yesterday's video. That sharpener is an amazing knife for pen knives. And I was able to get this down to a 17. I wouldn't have liked to have gone any lower, but about 17 degrees I took this down to. And this is a roughie that, let me tell you, I'm just going to, while we're on the subject, I know I've just disappeared off the subject, but this is a little rough rider that is now, listen to that, it's just like a razor blade. So I was able to take this down to 17 degrees, for such a thin blade, I didn't think I would maybe get it down there. But it's perfect. That little sharpener is perfect. And from now on, I won't have to use the uh, the diamond stones on it. I'll just do it with a ceramic to, to keep it and strop it. 
always strop your knives. Do not sharpen if you don't have to strop. It keeps the knife perfectly sharp if you're not, unless you've got dents or chips in it, don't sharpen. Please don't sharpen your knives. I know there's a lot of talk about, you know, oh, keep your knife sharp. Keeping your knife sharp doesn't mean you have to sharpen it. A strop keeps your knife sharp. And if you get into the habit of doing it every day after use, you're going to, that knife will last you a lifetime, basically, if you do it properly. And especially if you've got as many knives as I have. It'll definitely last me a lifetime. But I'm going to go even cheaper still. I'm going to go even cheaper still on that theme of, I was, I was talking about going to put the easy open notch here. Here's another one that one of my subs done for me. Look at that beautiful work that he done on that, that knife for me. And he put an easy, this is an open L. You know, it's single figure dollars. It's an open L with an easy open notch, which is just beautiful. And look at the blade he done for me. Absolutely stunning. And I, I'm going to do a, a complete review in this. I just haven't got a, I have so many knives to do reviews off at the minute. But I will come and we'll talk about who gave it to me. I don't want to spoil all that by just doing it now. So there's four knives in my collection. They've all got something in common. Either it's the shape or the easy open notches. And a price range from single figures up to 130 plus. Whatever you can get these for now. Gee, you see, I know they're hard to get. I, I accept that, but if you can get them, and if you can afford to get them, they're really worth every penny. To me, they're worth every single penny. But so is this, and so is this, and so is this. And that's my knife collecting, is getting things that are good, the quality's great, at whatever standard. If you get the top quality in that price range, you're laughing. This is bought from this. Sorry, I'm going up the way. This is Etsy. This was on uh, Heine Haynes, and well, this was a gift. But you can buy open L's anywhere. And if you're at any way at all artistic, burn something like that into it. What a classic knife! Do a bit of mods on the blade. Amazing, amazing. So, I'll close and I'll give you a close up of this beautiful beaver tail. This is one of the most attractive knives I have now in my collection. I am so honoured to have it in my collection and I'm going to enjoy it for the rest of my life. This is a keeper. This is a keeper. And I've got another few keepers to show you that are blowing my mind. I hope they excite you as much as they do me. But I'll try and do comparisons with other knives that are, you know, much price, price much less. Sorry, that was very bad English. Price much less than the ones I'm going to show you. But if you can get GEC, there's nothing out there in, in this sort of price range that can match it. In my eyes. In my eyes, anyway. So there you go, folks. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you see that there's, there's value in anything that you buy, as long as you buy what you like. So, I'm away for a cup of tea. God bless us all. Cheerio, night. Bye.